Welcome back to tonight's special edition, Inside the Issues. If you've been paying attention, then you well know the left's rhetoric on immigration is becoming more militant by the day. On MSNBC this morning, host Stephanie Rule warned that if the administration doesn't revise its immigration policies, that immigrant children will eventually grow up to punish us in some way with their vengeance. Watch this. Help us understand what this kind of damage does to these young people. I worry that you're creating Terminator-like characters that will seek vengeance. Let them in or they will kill you. Excellent argument. Also on MSNBC, commentator Donnie Deutsch declared that every Trump voter, every single one of them, all 63 million, is a Nazi. Watch. We can no longer say Trump's the bad guy. If you vote for Trump, you're the bad guy. Mm -hmm. If you vote for Trump, it's you are ripping children from parents' arms. If you vote for Trump, then you, the voter, you, not Donald Trump, are standing at the bar border like Nazis going, you hear, you hear. So where is this going? You know exactly where it's going. If you really believed Nazis were taking over your country, what wouldn't you do to them? You would fight them. You'd have a moral obligation to. Anyone who tells you your political opponents in this country, American citizens, are Nazis, is pushing us toward violence, obviously. We asked MSNBC today if they supported all of this, and why are they allowing this on their air? They didn't respond to us. Dan Bongino is a former NYPD officer and Secret Service agent, and he joins us tonight. Look, Dan, the left is always conflating words with violence and saying, you said something that makes me feel unsafe, and I, I hate that. And I think people ought to be able to say exactly what they think. But when you start saying that people who disagree with you aren't just wrong or stupid or even immoral, but they're Nazis, what are you really saying? Well, Tucker, I'd like to attribute Donnie jo uh, Deutsch's comments to average, run-of-the-mill stupidity, um, but it's not, unfortunately. Yeah. I wish it were. This is a tactic by the left. Here's how this works, Tucker. It's an effort to dehumanize people. In other words, yeah. you know, you have on your show, I just watched, I, 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 you have liberals all the time. I'm sure I've met yes. you personally. You don't think they're Nazis. You think they just have really bad ideas. We think liberals exactly are people with bad ideas. Yeah, liberals, Tucker think we are bad people with ideas. There's a difference, and there's a tactical difference. The tactical difference is this. When you lose on the facts and you lose on the data and you can't win a rhetorical argument using reason, what you do is you shut the argument down in advance by getting people to believe that the, the person you're arguing against is something less than human. He's not worthy of an opinion. He's to be dehumanized. He is a bad person with an idea, not a person with a bad idea. They do this on purpose, Tucker. This is not a mistake what they're doing. I wish it were. Well, you know what people who are not people don't have rights. So the DHS secretary yes. was informed that she does not have a right to go out in public, a right to have dinner in a restaurant in downtown DC without being threatened. Now she doesn't have a right to sit at home with her family. Her home was surrounded by screaming protesters. Where are the adults on the left who are willing to get out there and say, you know what, this is too far. You've crossed a line here. You're moving toward violence, which is exactly what they're doing. Where are the adults in the Democratic Party to say that? Uh, Tucker, they're gone. There are other big R God-given rights that you don't have as a conservative either. You can't assemble on a college campus without being attacked in many places. You don't have the right to privacy anymore, which, by the way, wasn't even in the Constitution. The left invented it, then uninvented it in Spygate. You don't have the right to defend yourself with the left anymore. Tucker, here's what worries me about this, though. There's an emergency break on conservatives and libertarians, and that emergency break, not all, listen, every, I get it, every political party has people who make mistakes, but the largely, the, the, the lodestar of conservative ideology is big R, God-given rights, and that puts an emergency break on your behavior. Proactive violence That's is right. never acceptable because you respond to faith in God first. I'm not, I'm not collectively identifying all Democrats here, but on the radical left, when no, you I are understand. a secular attacking faith, faith is the enemy person, there is no emergency break on your behavior because your God is the state. There is no higher set of objective values. The, the ends always justifies the means. Everything is subjective. This is what terrifies me about this new, well, it's not new, unfortunately, but this growing stream of radical far leftists. Be, I, I tell people all the time, be wary. These people aren't kidding in some of their calls for violence. They're not joking.
That's exactly right. What, what you just said is the essence of it. When you think you're God, there's no limit on what you can do. And you're exactly right. Dan Bongino, that was wise. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, the thought police on the left may be obsessed with immigration. That does not mean, however, that they are letting up elsewhere. Across the country, gay people are being targeted for eating chicken sandwiches at Chick-fil-A. Huh?